My name is Alex. I work in the NHS as a biomedical scientist and I am now training to become a clinical scientist. Today is Biomedical Science Day, so I have created this short video to explore some of the mystery behind biomedical science in the NHS. Biomedical sciences can be defined as the group of sciences used in healthcare or public health. This group of sciences is often referred to as pathology. Did you know that approximately 70% of diagnoses in the NHS are based on pathology results provided by biomedical laboratory services? But there is still a lot of mystery surrounding biomedical science. For example, who works in biomedical science? Where do these people work? How does this impact me as a patient? And how can I work in biomedical science? I hope by the end of this video, I have managed to answer some of these questions. So firstly, let's take a look at who works in biomedical science. Well, this is simple, biomedical scientists, often referred to as a BMS. But where exactly do they work? Biomedical scientists most commonly work in the pathology laboratories inside hospitals. Most hospitals in the UK will have a pathology laboratory. But how does their work impact you as a patient? Well, let's take a look at some examples. Have you ever wondered what happens to your blood after you've had a blood test? Your blood will have been transported to a pathology laboratory and processed by a team of biomedical scientists who will have performed tests to identify any abnormalities in the blood. Another example, have you ever had a suspicious mould that has been removed from your skin? Have you ever wondered where it went after it left your body? Well, any tissue sample taken from the body must be analysed to try and find a diagnosis. Again, this is where biomedical scientists come in. One more example. Let's take a look at the COVID-19 pandemic. As you have heard, thousands of people have been tested for the virus using swab tests and the UK has just initiated antibody testing to identify if an individual has been exposed to the virus. But who analyses the swabs or the blood test to confirm whether a patient tests positive? You guessed it, teams of biomedical scientists working in pathology. As you can see from these examples, biomedical scientists work in a whole range of disciplines. Some examples include virology, microbiology, biochemistry, hematology, cytology, histology, point of care testing and mortuary. What you may be wondering is how can you become a biomedical scientist? The most common route is to complete a biomedical science degree that is accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Science. During the degree, you may have the opportunity to complete a placement year in the NHS Pathology Labs, where you will be given the chance to complete your registration portfolio as a trainee biomedical scientist. Don't worry if your university doesn't support this opportunity. A trainee position can be obtained once you have graduated, and the registration portfolio can be completed whilst you're working in the lab. Both a degree in biomedical science and a complete registration portfolio will allow you to join with the Health and Care Professions Council to become a registered biomedical scientist. This registration is really important as it shows that you are practicing correctly and that your work is of high quality. Although this video focuses on biomedical scientists, we mustn't forget about the other key members of the NHS Pathology Labs. A whole team of individuals with a wide range of skills are required for the lab to function. Medical laboratory assistants, consultant pathologists, engineers, medical secretaries and cleaners are also vital members of the pathology team. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that I have given you an insight into the profession of biomedical scientists and that you can now see that biomedical scientists really are at the heart of healthcare.